Guys, I was listening to Queen's We Are the Champions on the way over here, so I'm super pumped. Can we get another round of applause for Mary Still and our other speakers? Sorry, is that better? All right, we got a holler. I am thrilled and honored to be here today to speak in support of the Planned Parenthood Action Fund and tell you why protecting women's health is so important to me. I don't have a poignant story to tell about myself. I'm just a woman who was once a teenager who found herself in need of birth control and some guidance. I didn't know much about the politics surrounding women's health at the time. I wasn't even old enough to vote. But I knew that Planned Parenthood's health centers were safe places to go where I could get affordable health care from doctors and nurses who cared about my well-being and wouldn't judge me. They made a point to educate me about my sexual and reproductive health. They offered inexpensive, inexpensive pelvic and breast exams, cancer screenings, STD testing, and birth control. All services I needed could access and afford even as a 17-year-old working part-time for minimum wage. But I was lucky. I had a job. It sucked, but I had a job. <laughs> I had a local health center. I had a car to get me there. I had a supportive network of family and friends. I had privileges that many women who desperately need assistance from Planned Parenthood's health centers don't have. Not just in Missouri, but throughout the United States, there are women who have had their local and statewide health care systems defunded. Their access to preventive care and abortion services severely limited, and thusly their right to make informed decisions about their own health revoked. They have been abused and neglected by a government they should be able to trust. And if Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan win this election, those women who have been forced into the margins will disappear. Romney's threats to shut down Planned Parenthood and repeal the Affordable Care Act will have far-reaching consequences that will compel our state and our nation to adopt an antiquated system of gender inequality from which we may never recover. Their campaign of extreme conservatism is making a direct attack on women and our right to access established preventive health care systems, access to family planning assistance, STD testing for both women and men, well woman exams including pap smear smears for cancer screening, access to birth control, emergency contraception, and abortion, access to the preventive health care that can improve the quality of life, keep women in the workforce, and alleviate many budgetary concerns access to all the services that Planned Parenthood provides at little or no cost to those women who need them most, those women in the margins. As a Columbia native, holla, and a patient escort at our local health, health center, I can tell you firsthand how desperately the services offered here are needed by our community and the outlying areas. The other volunteers, and I'm really happy to say that there are a lot of them in the audience tonight. Can I get another hollow? The other volunteers and I have escorted women of all ages from varied socioeconomic and culturally diverse backgrounds, past the protesters who regularly appear outside of Columbia's Planned Parenthood. There is not a layer in the social strata of this community that hasn't at one time or another relied on the services provided by this health center. This is why I stand here today and ask you to support the Planned Parenthood Action Fund, to vote, support Mary Still and other candidates like her, men and women who promote women's health initiatives and affordable access to preventive health care, both in the great state of Missouri and the nation, because this battle is not imaginary. It is not a minor issue being blown out of proportion. It's not just an attack on our access to affordable health care. It's an attack on our bodies and the choices we make. And we have an obligation to stand up and fight for ourselves. And when Planned Parenthood's health centers ask me to give my time 
to protect another woman's privacy, to be a physical barrier between her and those who maliciously harass her under the pretext of graciousness, to stand outside in 110 degree heat or driving snow. My answer will always be, you're damn right I will. Thank you. It is now my honor to present one of the most awesome guys I know, State Representative Stephen Weber.